Alright, good afternoon everybody and uh, welcome back to Air Navigation. I'm Slash from Bangalore and this is our, this is our second session on the 1 and 60 rule. Sorry, 1 in 60 rule. And today we'll be doing a few problems and I'll be clarifying a question that I was asked. <coughs> so, let's go ahead and start a new page. Okay. So, there you go. And let's not save. We'll make a nice triangle over here, and we'll flip it horizontally. There you go. <clears throat> okay, so recount last time that we mentioned that this angle over here was theta. That this over here was our, sorry, was our distance traveled. And this was our deviation. And we also mentioned a few formulas last time. And those were as so. So we said that x over 60 over 60 and 60 was an arbitrary well 60 was uh, the rule equals our z, and we'll put our z in green. We also said that our deviation over our over our z was our theta. So let's just put that down to theta right there. And we also said that z multiplied, so we'll put a small dot to indicate that, by theta, black actually, let's follow the sequence, multiplied by theta equals our d. So now let's use these, we'll make that in brown, sorry, let's not confuse you. Uh, we'll use these formulas to do a few problems. Okay, awesome. So we're going to go ahead and keep this. Let's cut that out of there. And we'll put on a new page. <coughs> so just paste that down there. Perfect, just like that. And we'll go ahead and erase these numbers. Or actually we'll keep them. So just to make it easier. So in the situation where we don't know theta, but we do know x, let's assume that x equals 90 meter, sorry, 90 miles. Remember that can be any unit, as long as this unit is also the same. We'll assume that d equals 3 miles. Okay, so, so what you do now is get the z number. So we divide that by 60 to get z, and we get 1.5, because 90 divided by 60 equals 1.5. Okay. So now what we do is we use the formula. So how you get theta is you do d over z. That was the formula, remember? So our d, sorry, our d so over our z. So our z equals our theta. So now our 3 over 1.5 equals 2. And you can calculate that if you want. So in that situation, we don't know theta. In our next situation, let's not save this again. Let's paste another formula. There you go. Let's move that in. In our next situation, we don't know <coughs> we don't know d. So this one will have a little bit of a different kind of uh, difficulty because I'll try and use different numbers which are a bit harder to uh, harder to indicate, harder to solve for. So let's say our theta equals 8.5 degrees. 
8.5 degrees. Put that point a bit larger there. And we'll say our x equals <coughs> 210 meters, sorry, miles. I keep saying meters for some reason. Now you divide that by 60 to get our z number. And we always do this, remember. And in that case, we get our z number as 3.5. Whoops, it's a bit too big. There you go. So now to get our deviation, which is our d, what you have to do is you have to multiply z by theta. So our z equals 3.5 and our theta equals 8.5. So our deviation equals 3.5 times, sorry, times, times 8.5. And that would be our theta. So now when we do this calculation, we get 21, sorry, 29, <laughs> but 29.75, my mistake. There you go. So that would be the answer. So that's how you get d from x and theta. So now what in the case would you do if you don't have an x? Okay. So let's explore that. And let's not save again. Post. So now we're trying to find x. And let's say our theta equals whoops. <laughs> Messed up there. Let's say our theta equals four degrees. There you go. That's four degrees for you. And our displacement, so our displacement is 200 miles and we've traveled quite far without knowing that we've deviated from our path. Our displacement is 200 meters. Now how would you get that? Well, if we consider it logically, it would be our displacement over our theta. Ignore the phone call, I'm sorry. Be our displacement over our theta, which is 4 degrees. And we would get a grand total of 50. Sorry about that. 50. And that would be our z. This is our z right here. Okay. So now what we need to do is we need to get z multiplied by 60. And that would be your displacement. And that would be 5 times 6, 30, and other two zeros. 3,000 miles. Quite a distance. It would be pretty bad off if you ended up over there. So again, in that case, what you would have to do is take your d, you divide by theta, and you get your z. So our z right here. Then you take your z and you multiply by 60, because that's the number, 1 and 60 you'll remember, and you will get your x. So x equals d over theta, okay, multiplied by 60. Alright, I hope that clears things up for you. Thank you so much for watching my video, and have a nice day. Duh.